So it comes down a lot to intention. And how do you focus your intention to bring about the outcome that you are desiring? Most people struggle with that because they're trying to overcome a negative way of thinking or negative mindset or belief system, or even the facts. If you're looking for change, let's say in health, if the facts say, the doctors say, you've got this, and you're choosing a reality in which you don't have it, you're usually pulled in doubt or unbelief, or how do I get rid of this diagnosis, or how do I renew my mind? Well, to be honest, you can't really renew your own mind. Your mind gets renewed by encountering truth, which changes the lies that you've believed. So the more you encounter truth, the more, the less the lies have any hold on you because you realize that isn't true. Now, you know, I would say in my relationship with God, the things I believe, which relies about me and about the world and about God were programmed into me by religion and culture and upbringing, whatever else. And it wasn't enough to me to read the Bible or me to try and think I need to think differently. Because the more I tried to think differently against something which I previously believed, the more I was still focusing on trying not to believe it. So when you then come to looking at how do I then have my thinking change so that I believe something different and therefore I operate out of that belief system, it requires encounters to change. It isn't enough to have facts or information mm -hmm. What I found is when I have encountered God and those encounters have so radically challenged what I previously believed, the encounters have changed what I believe. If God had just said something, that might not have been enough because I would have not experienced it, even though he said it. And he has said many things to me, which have taken a long time for me to come into the reality of, because it's only by experience that I could come into the reality. So when it comes to choosing a reality, and literally that's what quantum physics indicates, if you choose something, the universe responds to you or creation responds to you um, and begins to manifest that, the problem is you have an infinite number of choices every second of every day. Which ones do you make? Well, usually the ones that align to what you already expect is going to happen. So most people keep getting what they've always got because they really align their choices with what they've always expected to happen. So if you want something different, you've got to learn to focus on that one and exclude all the other possibilities so they no longer exist in your expectation, which is what work talks about hope, manifesting something. Really, that's what it is. You're basically saying, well, here are all these possibilities and I'm going to narrow down all these possibilities and choose one to the exclusion of all the others. And literally in a quantum physics way, what happens is that choice out of all the others that exist, when you make it and you stick to it, literally light collapses that wave function, quantum wave function collapses, what the technical term is, into that reality and all the other possibilities that exist at that moment cease to exist anymore until the next moment. And then if you continually choose each moment to focus your intention on that, then eventually nothing else will, you won't believe anything else and you'll find that that's when it begins to manifest. But there's usually a period from you choosing that reality to that reality becoming actually what you really believe rather than what you want. And there's a huge difference from I want this to happen to I totally believe this is going to happen. And so that's where intention needs to be focused. And you need to be able to focus that intention 